With Canon's IPF series of printers, the print plugin, sometimes referred to as the export module, is a specialized printing utility that will yield consistent and predictable printing results time after time and is designed when using Adobe Photoshop or Canon's Digital Photo Professional. Install the plugin utility from the IPF installation CD or download the most current version from the Canon website. Compared to using the standard print driver, the export module allow you to easily set up advanced features for a variety of printing options and save these for instant access in the future. The user interface is also sticky, meaning that the previous settings you last used will remain in place each time you use the export module until you set up a new option for size, paper, and profile, or color settings. Simply select your paper, profile, quality, and page size to take advantage of the powerful features of the export module. But there are even more features giving you advanced, unmatchable controls. Let's take a look at these settings, starting with the main tab. The main tab is where you set up your color management settings for paper type, output profiles, and print quality. First choose Select and confirm your printer. Then choose your specific paper media type. The advanced settings allow you to set up drawing time, margins, cut speed, calibration value, and other options such as mirror, unidirectional printing, and high precision text or fine lines. Next is your input resolution and bit depth, and your print mode, and these options will change depending on the media type you have selected. From the output profile, you can select a vendor supplied ICC profile or a custom profile, and at the top you can select auto, and the plugin will select the corresponding profile for the media type that you've selected automatically. You can also select auto monochrome photo for beautiful black and white images and for those of you who need to print with no profile such as when reading color patches for generating custom profiles you can choose none for no color correction. If you need to generate a proof for a printing press first select your output profile then choose proof. Now you can select a press profile and create a proof image for the press run. The matching method for photographers will either be relative color metric or perceptual. And in the ICC conversion options, you can select the OS standards color management method or the Adobe CMM. The simulate paper color is best used when using the proof feature or printing on a special matte surface paper. Click the Set Configuration option and you can select the Sharpen feature along with the Image Enlargement method as the plugin will resize the image for you according to the size being printed. And select the option to perform printing in the background and Close Plugin after printing. This will take you right back to Photoshop or DPP when the image is sent to the printer. The Page Setup tab is where you select a preset paper size or you can create a custom paper size. When choosing borderless printing, the plugin will ask you to verify the roll paper width and automatically print your image full bleed on the paper width. If you use a 24 inch printer, the portrait or landscape orientation will determine if the print will be 16 by 24 or say 24 by 36 and so on. Uncheck Borderless Printing and choose Enlarge Reduce Printing. Now you can set the exact scaling up to 600% and choose your paper size. And in the Layout area, choose Margins and select the position of the image. Fit Paper Size works similar to Borderless Printing option but will leave a margin. The Image Preview area will show how your image will appear on the paper size you've selected. Choose Roll Paper options to confirm roll paper width 
and here you can turn on or off automatic cutting or have the plugin print a guideline. From the color settings tab, you have full control to change color settings, brightness, contrast, or saturation, and you can even establish a custom curve and save this for your workflow. The adjustment pattern setting is a new feature designed for the newer IPF series printers and we'll cover this in detail in another session. The print history is where you can save all of these settings for a variety of papers, profiles, page setups, and color settings, and have the ability to access the exact same settings anytime by selecting one of your saved favorites. After printing your image with all the previous settings and setups, click the Detail button, select the name file, and import into your favorites column. Name the setup and make any comments needed. And now, rather than creating the setups in the main Page Setup and Color Settings tab, you can select your saved favorites, apply it, and everything will be set up automatically for you.